Welcome back. You're watching Young Techs. It's now time to look at what young entrepreneurs are doing in universities across the country. As part of our ongoing partnership with Microsoft Imagine Cup, a premier student technology competition, this week we feature the winners of the India 2015 finals. Let's take a look at the top teams who made the cut. This year, 14,000 students from 25 states registered for the Microsoft Imagine Cup. From this lot, 29 teams battled it out at the India Finals for a chance to represent India at the World Finals in Seattle and compete among global teams for a $50,000 prize. One of the big changes last year, of course, was that the finals of the Imagine Cup were held in Seattle for the first time. Generally, we have them in different countries around the world, but last year it was in Seattle, and that created a lot of excitement because the winners were very excited to go to the Microsoft campus and see you know, sort of what it looks like and, and uh, what the excitement is around our campus. Uh, we had our winners last year, Team Code Blue. They went to Seattle, and in fact, they won second place in the office competition. So we've been searching this year uh, for more student winners to represent India in the finals of the Imagine Cup, and we look forward to seeing uh, who those will be. The 2015 edition of this tech competition was split across three categories, namely world citizenship, gaming, and innovation. Young Turks caught up with the teams that emerged as winners. First up, Sanket Ghorpare of Team Turing from Seankar Institute of Technology, Lunap Line Maharashtra, and Medicaps Institute of Technology and Management, Rao Madhya Pradesh. The team, which is part of the World Citizenship category, has developed a desktop application in which the user can type out text by simply blinking their eyes. Targeting people suffering from ALS syndrome, Sanket wants to help them communicate with the world. Right now what hardware we are using is NeuroSky MindBay. That is an already existing hardware that you can buy from store. So what we have bought that hardware from a store so we can uh, our time is not wasted on capturing the EEG signal. And with the help of that hardware we are checking if the user is blinking his eye or not. With the help of his eye movements, we are sending that eye movement to our computer. In our solution, we have converted we have made the solution such a way the blink strength is checked and uh, with the help of that blink strength. If the user is blinking, the character has been typed. There's a highlighter which moves on each and every character. And if that character is present, uh, if the highlighter is present on A character, and if he blinks his eye, so A will be typed on the screen. It will speak out. We have also incorporated the feature of sending mess sending this message to the caretaker. So if there's an option to send, so the caretaker will have a phone uh, in which the application will be there. So he will receive the notification as this uh, the person needs help or he want to say something. Uh, this complete product with the hardware and with this solution, it will cost not more than $53. So it is very, very cheap. To meet the next two finalists, we head straight to Manav Rajna University's campus in Faridabad. Team Ether, the winners of the gaming challenge, developed a game called Tidy. A desktop and mobile game, Tidy aims to create awareness and help players learn more about garbage segregation and waste management. Microsoft has been a huge support for us uh, in developing the game. Uh, we have free developer licenses under the DreamSpark program and we were able to use Visual Studio and other developer tools to create the game and uh, we have created the first first version of the game the basic version of the game and we are continuously adding more and more uh, characters more and more layouts and we will be launching the first version by the end of June so it will be available on the Windows Phone market by the end of June and after that we will be adding more and more uh, characters and layouts to the game and we'll be working on an Android version as well, Android and iOS version. First, we'll test the waters through the Windows Phone game so that we can know what kind of response it generates. And then we'll be moving on to the Android market. And the winner in the innovation category was Team iLuminati that developed a wearable device called Manoview. Manoview helps the visually impaired walk around in a complex environment and helps them read regular textbooks. The camera on the glove captures words in a video and the app recognizes or synthesizes these words into audible speech. This serves three main purposes. The one, it helps the blind people read printed text, which is not possible for them right now. 
as they have to get the books specially printed in braille. Suppose they go out on the streets, every turn is a danger to them. If they just go on the streets, the device gives them a haptic feedback that if there is an obstacle in front of them, so it gives vibration and it intelligently tells the person how he should move in the environment. This mobile phone application opens up the smartphone market to the blind. It is all voice controlled. There are other, other players like uh, Apple and Google who, who developed intelligent personal assistants like Siri and uh, Google now, but they are not as efficient in India as compared to Microsoft's Cortana. So this is particularly suitable for the Indian market. It is for the Indian people. Well, congratulations and all the very best for the World Finals where one of these teams will represent India. Now, this week, Young Tets and Thai Delhi NCR will host the third edition of Thai The Knot, a real-time funding contest. Stay tuned to our Facebook page and our Twitter handle for updates. We'll, of course, keep you posted on all the action right here. That's a wrap on this week's edition of Young Tets. Tell us what you thought of our show. You can also write in to us, youngtets.network18online.com. That's our email address. Catch our episodes on our website, Young techshotin.com and for our international viewers log on to moneycontrol.com till then from the entire team goodbye and many thanks for watching